At dapat po, yung grano niya, medyo ganito. Or, mas karpa. Mas, mas, mas karpa. Mas, mas, mas makarpa. Mas ma... <clears throat> Ito na. Kita sugat ko pala. <laughs> Hi there, showgirls and showboys. My name is Roland T. Peñares and welcome to my channel. Today po is a 6th day of enhanced community quarantine. And since I cannot go out, I decided na lang to check my phone or my camera. And I realized na I have so many video clips na pwede kong gawin into a content. Medyo late posting na po siya, pero it's okay. Because hindi naman po siya uh, paid advertisement. I was invited by Dutya Asia for their event with Chef Tatong as their resource speaker. May mga products and seasonings po kasi ang Nutri-Asia wherein if you will just mix and match, makakapag-formulate po kayo ng mixture wherein you can use that uh, to cook your recipe. So, check natin. Sa afternoon po, punta po tayo sa event ng Nutri-Asia. Uh, they handle po yung mga big names or big brands like UFC, Mam Tumas, ano ba ba? Uh, Dato Puti, Silver Swan, ang drive up nila. So, wala tayo. Probably, may kakulangan sa technology on how we develop recipes. There's a problem in how we para create the flow in the kitchen. Diba? Kasi, like for example for me, sabi nila, Chef, bakit hindi ka natatakot na mag-share ng recipe? Diba? Kasi, oh, I'm sharing recipes here and then people call me. Bigay, uh, bigay recipe, walang kaya sa bed. Pero, Hindi ka ba natatakot, di ba? When you work with people, kaya pinapakti mo mabuka sila ng parang uh, confidentiality agreement na uh, uh, you cannot use these recipes elsewhere. Kaya, ito yung sagot ko. Uh, a kitchen, the quality of the food of your kitchen is not driven by a recipe. It is driven by culture. So if your people don't live by the standards and the values of your own vision, culinary vision, nothing's going to happen. If then, even if you give them the recipe, the most accurate recipe, diba, and buy the most expensive ingredients, hindi yan kasi gano'n na masarap. I try to simplify and create a process where you can flavor your food without being, having that problem. Diba, having that problem, paano kasi, okay, kahit ano ka gano'n, ito siya sabi ko, uh, Supply and kitchen. Di ba minsan may restaurant na sumasupply yung food? Totoo yan. Reality. Who do you blame? The cook or the system? Ako I always blame the system because if you don't create your restaurant, your kitchen in a manner that your staff can per perform optimally to cook delicious food all the time, there is a problem. After the event, my cameraman and I went home to rest. Pero we were supposed to go out po uh, to shoot again para sa restaurant na kakilala ko. Sad to say, hindi po siya available. That's why uh, we decided na lang to go to the nearest grocery to buy ingredients to cook my uh, fried cauliflower rice. You may not know this po, but three weeks ago, I started this fitness journey wherein I am now doing intermittent fasting uh, coupled with uh, keto diet. Well, I have been doing intermittent fasting since college. At the time po kasi, late ako nagigising, then diretso na ako sa school. Then normally, nagkakapag-lunch ako after nasa klase ko, mga 2 or 3 in the afternoon. At the time, I didn't know I was already doing intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is when you deprive yourself of food for at least 16 hours before you take your first meal of the day. In my case, I only eat once a day po, dinner time lang. And when I eat, I only eat keto food. What is keto? Keto or ketogenic diet is a kind of diet wherein you consume 75% um, good fats, 20% uh, protein, and only 5% um, carbs. So you just Google na lang po kung ano po yung mga good fats or mga food under sa good fats. Pero yung protein po dapat 20% lang talaga kasi 
if you will eat too much protein, naging sugar din po siya, naging glucose siya, naging sugar din siya. Pero yung talagang uh, carbs, talagang 5% na talaga siya. Kaya preferably no rice, uh, pagkatap, hindi preferably, strictly no rice. Pagkatapos iwasan din po yung bread, iwasan yung mga, uh, mga, mga flour or mga root crops, even candy or mga, mga sweet desserts, iwasan din po yan. My waistline used to be 4 to 1 and a half. Grabe, no? 41 and a half inches. I'm not kidding. Yung tip measure, ilagay nyo sa chan nyo, tapos hanggang dun sa pusod, yun. Ang measurement ko, 41 and a half. Grabe. Pero, within 3 weeks, after doing this um, keto diet, so, naging ko na siya, naging uh, 38 and a half. So, 3 inches ang nawala. So, that's very good for me already. Uh, my main goal is, my main goal is uh, 34 inches. I'm not aiming for 32 anymore. Kahit 30, 34 lang, masaya na, masaya, masaya, masaya na po ako noon. Uh, that's the plan. Pero, I don't know kung kailan ko ma-achieve yun. But, I'm doing my best para ma-achieve ko po yun. Kaya naman po ako lumabo ng ganito. Kasi, all my life po talaga, payat po talaga ako. When I was in, in high school, when I was 13, can you imagine... I only weigh 59 pounds. 59 pounds. Can you imagine that? Kaya, lahat ng tao around me kept on telling me, kain ka lang ng kain. As in, tataba ka rin. And that became my mantra. Kaya ginawa ko, kain lang ng kain, kain ng kain. Nag-college ako, after college, kain pa lang ng kain. Until I realized na sumasobra na ako sa desired weight ko. Kasi, dumating na ako sa point na okay na ako eh. Pero feeling ko at that time, Psychologically, feeling ko, payat pa rin ako. That's why I kept on eating. So, I made a decision na, na enough is enough. As in, sobra na. So, nung umabot na ako ng 41 and a half, yun na yun. Yun na yung talagang nagbigay sa akin ng, uh, what do call this, ng reason na mag-diet na talaga. Luckily, I don't have any ailment. I'm very healthy po talaga. The last time I had uh, parang yung fever na nagtagal mga 2 day fever was way back 2003 ang tagal na talaga kaya luging lugi ako sa HMO ko eh dahil hindi ko siya nagagamit fortunately wala akong high blood wala akong hypertension wala akong ano pa yun mga an hindi ako anemic or what no ailment at all itong pagdadayat ko is more on aesthetics gusto ko talagang I just wanna look good okay that's it pero hindi talaga health reason second dahil sa yung health reason ang primary reason ko talaga Para lang ma-fit ko lang yung mga damit ko na hindi na nagkasya sa akin. Seriously, yun ang talagang reason ko lang. Wala nang iba. Ako, I think the reason naman yung nagkakasakit because I'm doing intermittent fasting eh. Ginuguto mo yung uh, virus or bacteria sa katawan mo. Kaya, imposible na magkaroon ka ng um, regardless, mga sakit-sakit. Marami pong uh, positive na pwede pong mangyari sa pag-intermittent fasting po. You can google that. Tinan nyo, pati cancer pinapatay niya. So, since I cannot eat rice because carbs nga yun, I have an alternative. And ito yun. And I have a recipe to make this into this. So, sa pagluto po natin ng cauliflower po natin, all we need to do is first, uh, kuha kayo ng, bili kayo ng cauliflower nyo. Pagkatapos, taggalan nyo siya ng mga ganito. Okay? Pwede siyang i-manual nyo na lang. Ngayon, uh, pwede mo kasi siyang uh, gamitan siya ng uh, blender na ganito or preferably po talaga is yung uh, ito, yung food processor pwede rin mo pwede mo rin naman siya i-grate kaya lang kung i-grate mo kasi mabagal so ginagawa ko muna tinatagal ako siya ng mga stem niya So from here So from here kung may makita po kayo na itim-itim gaya nito pwede niyo naman po niyo siyang hiwain na lang pwede mo siya masama okay
So again, pwede po siya na um, food processor or pwede rin manual na grater. Kahit anong grater, yung pang cheese grater pwede rin po yun. Or if not, blender. Ako wala kasi akong food processor na sira eh. Ayoko rin gumamit ng grater, ng ang bagal. Pwede man dito, the thing lang, medyo careful ka lang, ingat ka lang na huwag masyadong durog. Mas maganda kung medyo uh, sakto lang, suwabi lang yung pagkaka-den niya. Okay? Mga ganun lang. Okay na yan. Tapos, dagdagan niya lang, dagdagan niya lang dagdag hanggang maubos niyo ang isang bulb na hiniwa niyo. So, from here po, after natin siya ma-blender, ganito na po siya, pero kailangan natin siyang gamitan ng uh, paper towel. Tanggalan natin siya ng moist kasi ito po yung nagpapa uh, tawag ito, panay sa kanya. Para humaba po buhay niya, dapat po wala po siyang moist. Okay? Ito po, after natin siyang ma ganito, pwede niya po siyang ilagay sa isang ziplock kasi ilagay niyo sa freezer or sa ref. Kung gagamitin niyo kaagad, ref. Kung sa freezer naman, kung medyo matagal-tagal niya siyang gagamitin pa. So, like, ganito, nakita niyo nung gano'ng kadami yung, moist niya, yung moisture niya. So, ulitin natin ulit. Okay. Ayan. Dapat talaga wala siyang, the lesser the moisture, the better po. Now, by the way pala, huwag na huwag nyo pong ilalagay yung uh, cauliflower nyo sa freezer diretso kasi na hindi pa nag-grate kasi mangyayari po nyan uh, magtutubig masyado. Okay? Ito nga, hindi po nga ito nalagay, sa, uh, nalagay lang ito sa, sa babae, sa ref, pero nagganito na siya kasi hindi ko siya na uh, ziplock or hindi ko siya nag-grate muna. So, dapat muna talaga, i-grate natin siya tapos ilagay natin siya sa container na Uh, na silyado or sealed or if not, ziplock okay so, ito, pwede na to so, dapat po ang grano niya ganito or mas malaki pa yung parang rice talaga kaya lang kasi, sa ginamit ko nga is blender ganito nangyari, mas maganda talaga kung food processor pero, pwede na rin po to pwede na rin po to So, for our ingredients po, ito na po yung lahat lahat. Uh, ito, po na, ito na po yung uh, grated cauliflower. Then, meron po tayong salt, pepper, at yung soy sauce po natin. Then, we have a hot dog na hiniwa natin ng peanut, pinirito na rin. And so, with this uh, chorizo bilbao, then dahon ng sibuyas at dalawang egg. Para mas maraming itog, mas maganda po.
So this is your fried cauliflower rice. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel and kindly hit the bell button so you will be updated once our next video comes out. Thank you so much!